So for years I would ride my bike around the city and every time I saw somebody on a folding bike, I would say to myself, hmm, a folding bike, all right. But honestly, I just didn't think I understood folding bikes. Like, what are they for anyway? But then one day last spring, kind of on a whim, look what I did. I bought one. And when the bike arrived, I thought, this thing is really cool. And it is cool. But then honestly, after the dopamine rush of a new purchase wore off, I kind of found myself back to that original question. What is this bike actually for? I'm Tom, and this is Shifter, a channel about urban cycling, bike commuting, and the ways we get around our city. And this video is all about my summer with a folding bike. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you really like it, please consider hitting that super thanks button and contributing as well. Okay, first thing I want to tell you about the bike and why I chose it. So this is a Turn D7i, and I chose this folding bike because it's just kind of really me. So first of all, I didn't want a folding bike that was too small because I wanted to ride it a lot in the city and I didn't want the riding experience to be too compromised or too alien. But I also still wanted it foldable and portable, so this seemed like a good compromise. I'm also a sucker for simplicity and low maintenance, and so this has a uh, internal gear hub at the back, a Shimano Nexus 7 speed, which I have tried before and I love it. It also has hub dynamo lights, meaning lights that are always on here and are, they're powered by your pedaling because I'm forever losing those lights that you just attach to, to your handlebar and so I don't even have to think about this. This bike also has a really solid rack because I feel like I'm always carrying stuff in the city. As far as folding bikes go, this one just felt like very Tom and that's why I chose it. But what you probably are interested in is how it folds, right? Okay, lower the seat. <laughs> then it's got these nifty pedals that you just fold up. Then I push the handlebars down a little bit. And then the handlebars go down even more, down like so. Then you can unlock the frame here and whip it around. There's a magnets that attach it and that's it. It's good to go. There's the folded turn, D7i. Okay, the next question that always gets asked about folding bikes is, well, how do they ride? And honestly, I was a bit concerned about this. This has small 20 inch wheels, not the smallest you can get on a folding bike, but smaller than what I was used to. And so I was a bit concerned that it would compromise the riding or I'd have to pedal a bit harder. And there may be a little bit to that. This bike may be slightly less efficient than a bike with bigger wheels, but it's barely noticeable. I mean, after riding this bike for about two minutes, it just felt like a regular bike. I mean, if I had to ride this bike blindfolded, which would be a terrible idea, but if I did, I don't think I would be able to tell you that it's a folding bike. It just feels like a bike. I always intuitively thought that a folding bike would be great for travel. Coincidentally, a few days after the bike arrived, I had a flight scheduled and I thought, hey, perfect time. Let's get this folding bike on the plane. But this is where I encountered my first problem. Putting a bike on an airplane isn't as simple as you might think, or at least not as simple as I thought it was. Most folding bike manufacturers recommend you put it inside a hard-sided case so that it doesn't get damaged while on the flight, which makes good sense. Trouble was, I'm kind of cheap and I didn't want to pay extra money for the hard-sided case that's built for this bike. And I thought, ah, eh, no problem. I'll just put it into a different, a cheaper, regular old hard-sided suitcase that I had laying around. But doing so requires that you take the bike apart, not just fold it down, but actually take it apart and break it into pieces so that it fits into the case. Lots of folding bikes are like this and Turn helpfully provides a how-to guide on its website. But to be honest, I kind of hated this idea. I was like, what's the point of a folding bike if you have to take it all apart, put it in a suitcase and then put it back together when you arrive? And besides my flight was like the next day, I didn't have time to all work all that out. So I had another plan. What I did instead was pack the bike back into the packaging that it was delivered to my house in sealed up the big box and took the box to the airport. This was of course an oversized package so I couldn't check it like regular luggage. It went to the oversized bin, which is a bit of a hassle, but I made it honestly lugging that huge bike through the airport and through my hotel lobby up to my hotel room was not my finest moment. but it worked. And once I was in the city, having the bike was amazing. I didn't have to rent a bike or download an app for the local bike share. I just had this bike wherever I needed it and I could go anywhere. I loved it. But all in all, transporting the bike by air was 
not the best experience. So if this is the key reason for you buying a folding bike, make sure you buy one that's built for that, like that it has a good solid air uh, hard sided case and it can easily fold down or be taken apart into that case. So there are ways of making it happen, but this may not be the perfect model bike for that. But there are other types of travel. And today I'm going on a road trip. rental car but fitting don't you think loading up that bike was super easy hold on god how do youtubers record while driving it's terrifying where's my driving helmet ah, see what i did there so loading up the bike in the back of this car this is not a huge car it's not tiny but it's not huge was super easy if i was to bring my full-size bike i would have to have found a rack put the rack on put the bike on the rack you know on the back of the car and that's a way bigger hassle so the road trip is off to a good start. Also, road trip is stuck in traffic. Where, weren't we promised self-driving cars? What's going on? How does this thing even work? Ugh, rush hour. Uh, both east and west traffic are slowing down a little bit. It's not too bad right now. In a car in rush hour, it's my worst nightmare. Ugh. This is why I ride a bike. How do people do this every day? Get on your bike, people. I've been in traffic for like 20 minutes and I'm losing my mind. Go buy a bike. Why do you do this to yourself? Still in traffic. So the road trip was great, actually. Way better than the flight. Being able to fold that bike and put it in the trunk of that car was so easy. And it was great to have that bike wherever I needed it. So thumbs up on the road trip. It definitely works with a folding bike. So next up, I'm going to do what millions of people do with their folding bikes, and that is attempt a commute. And not just any commute, because it's pretty clear because this bike rides so nice and so comfortable that you could do a short commute. Well, I'm going to do a longer commute and a multimodal one. I'm going to ride to the train station, get on the train with the bike, get off at the destination, and then finish the commute on the bike. Try this with a regular bike. Or I could take the elevator, I guess. Compared to bringing a regular bike on the train, that was great. It's just way less disruptive. It's easy to fold up and put beside you. On my train just now, there were three other bikes and they were blocking the aisle. And, you know, it's great to allow bikes on trains, but this is a much more efficient way of doing it. I was Googling, I was Googling on the train and mine was supposed to be in a bag. So sorry, Lords of Transit, next time I'll bring my bag. But so make sure you check the rules in your city. But this is a great option. And I'm just going to fold it, unfold it and get on my way. So it's a really good commute option that way. Well done, folding bike. So if you have transit in your commute, a folding bike is a good option. But I haven't told you about the best part about commuting yet. Uh, through the summer, I've uh, used this bike to commute. No multimodal, just straight from home to work. And it's pretty great for that too. The best part is that when you arrive at your destination, if you hate the idea of keeping your bike outside all day long when you're at work locked at a public rack because you think it's going to get stolen, uh, you just fold up your bike and bring it upstairs. It, like fits really well into an elevator. It slides right under my desk. It's great. So if that's a concern of yours that you don't want to get your bike stolen, or you don't have a safe place to keep it at work, but you do have space beside your desk or in your office or in your workplace or you know wherever you are, a folding bike is a pretty good option. So keep that in mind. Commuting with a folding bike, a lot of great benefits. Okay, after a summer with a folding bike, I think I'm here to answer my original question. Here's what I've learned so far. Folding bike is not as convenient for air travel as I thought. Great on road trips, great for commuting. But overall, what's a folding bike for? Here's what I think. It's for cities. A folding bike is a great urban bike, especially in cities where there's not a lot of space. So if you don't have a lot of space to store your bike, a folding bike's a good option. If you're 
office is tight on space oh, and you don't want to leave it outside, a folding bike is a great option. If your commute involves a train or a bus and your city allows it, a folding bike is a great option. So it is a great urban tool. This is actually a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. I thought folding bikes were good for travel. End of story. But no, I think they are great urban machines. Keep in mind there is a few compromises that are going, you're going to have to make. It doesn't ride like a regular bike. There's a little bit less efficient, a little bit slower. You have to put a little bit more work into it. Uh, but those are, you know, all those other great urban things make up for it, definitely. So a great tool. If you are looking to buy one, keep in mind some of those things I mentioned earlier. Think about how you're going to use it. Uh, weight is important. The things I like about this bike, the internally geared hub at the back and the dynamo add some weight to it. So if you have to like carry your bike in long distances or it's going up and down stairs, you might want to think about a lighter model. But there are lots of great brands. This is a turn and I like it, but that's not the only great brand out there. Um, this is not a sponsored video, so you know, do your research. Um, and if you're looking for a great urban machine, a folding bike might be the answer you're looking for. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.